Hey, 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 what's up? I made it to camp. Um, I've padded me out a spot here in the sand, little flat spot on the Little Sandy River uh, in Kentucky. That is where I'm going. And uh, I got my gear all strung out here. I still got uh, some gear in the boat, but it's just the trolling motor and the, a paddle and the seat, fishing poles. Probably do some fishing. There used to be, it's gone. I've camped here many years, but out from that, you can't miss over that big tree. It's so hard to try to point at it. Anyway, the one you see right in the middle of the screen, dead, white top. Used to be a little one that stuck up right beside it. And that was, uh, there we go. That tree. Used to be a little one stuck up beside it, right alongside it. And I have caught several catfish here in the light. Sorry about the bad camera work, guys. And I know I'm looking at the thing and all this and all that, but I'm out of practice and probably not gonna shoot much more today. Uh, be honest with you, I got so much work to do to get this camp ready. I'm gonna be here for a couple days, uh, so I'll do some shooting uh, tomorrow for sure. I'll probably say goodnight to you after I make dinner or something, let you see dinner. So, anyway, see you later. Well, how you doing? It's Wednesday. I didn't do all the recording I said I was going to do, and I know it's lame, and I'm sorry. But, it has been a day. I haven't caught a thing. Not one fish, not even a bite. So, here's my camp. You see the boat back there and then there's my jacket I'll walk you around give you the grand tour I got this tarp set up uh, to block the frost falling just my jacket here uh, I got my gear oops sorry my gear all stuffed up under there. I found this golf club. I'm on the edge of a golf course. And I think someone just got mad and winged it. I don't know. It's a Dunlop. I don't know if they're any good or not. And then my boat seat. I sit there. Got a bag. There's my fire. I've already got my firewood for tonight. That little stuff right there, uh, that is for in the morning. I will leave that till in the morning. The big stuff. That's for tonight. I don't stay up all night and stoke the fire. Uh, sleeping bags work well. Why not use them, right? Got my fishing pole in the water. with the bell on it, as you can see. In case I do get a bit. Oh, look, a fly. That's the first flying object I've seen. Besides ducks, I've seen, man, a ton of ducks. Squirrels. There were two deer running up that hillside right there. I know it don't look like a hillside from here, but there's a little path over there and there's two deer running up it. The water you hear running is coming from a spring or something right there. It's burrowed out that little hole. Off in the distance, straight right there. If you can, well, you can't see, but on the other side of that tree line right there is actually the last hole of the golf course. And upstream that way is how I had to paddle today to meet Miss AJ. I drank all my booze last night and she brought me some more. God bless her. Also, my battery died on my cell phone and I had a backup battery and I used it. Oh, look, it looks like gnats. You probably won't be able to see them. I waited too late. 
it's about 6 30. I got let's see from the look of the sun over there about another 20 minutes of daylight before it really starts to shine off you can see it in the trees hitting over there I was hoping some ducks would fly by. They've been flying by all day. Ducks and Canadian geese out the wazoo. I've seen some beautiful, beautiful ducks. I've seen a lot of woodpeckers and a lot of Canadian geese. On the way out, this is something I saw. I saw a lot of cranes, but they're not cranes. What do they call it? Ingrits, maybe? I don't know. Let me look at you while I'm talking to you. I don't know, ingrits, something like that. Um, up in a treetop, there was, I mean, <laughs> a ton, a ton, ton, a ton of these things nested up there. And I'd never seen them nest before. I didn't know uh, that they nested like that. But then again, I usually don't get out this early because I don't take the cold too well, guys. But it's a very warm three days it's supposed to be. Tomorrow, I'm out. I'm packing down. I'm heading out. Miss AJ's going to come pick me up. And uh, I made a deal with her. Usually where I go, there's two boat ramps downriver. And uh, I started at the, 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 the one closest to where I'm at and paddled up to here. And it still took me about three hours, three and a half hours. Something like that, I think. Maybe even four. I don't know. I wasn't really timing it. But the next one past it is another four hours. They're doing construction on the road. So she wants me to not stop at the, the one that, that I paddled up from, the one I want to go to. She wants me to go all the way down to the one that meets actually the Ohio River. I'm on the Little Sandy, in case I haven't told you that already. I don't remember. Yesterday was a blur. Um... So that means I have about seven, eight hours of paddling ahead of me tomorrow. I'm sure that that battery uh, for the trolling motor, if it's not dead, it's going to be very, how can I say, um, low torque on the trolling motor. So it's going to be shoulder power. Oh, well. It's so worth it, guys. It's so worth it. That's enough for me now. I'm going to get a little closer to the fire. The wind's kind of picking up. A little chill. Mr. Squirrel, I see you. I don't want to focus because the... He's way off in the distance. I'm really zoomed in. And the fire is between us, and that's the mirage you see. That's a fox squirrel, and that's good to see. Back in the um, 2000s, early 2000s, we in the Appalachian foothills here in the Ohio River Valley had a horrible ice storm. And during that ice storm, many, 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 many of the fox or red squirrels, I don't know the scientific name, died out. And we were left with mainly just gray squirrels. Now, we don't really have black squirrels around here. But that is a fox squirrel and a fat one. I hope it's a female. Spring coming on and it's getting ready to have a bunch of babies. We need more of them. Need more of them. Whoop. Still sitting here at camp. It's right before dark. And again, guys, I'm so sorry that I keep looking there instead of there. Uh, I'm not too good at this stuff, you know? <clears throat> not too good at this stuff. I sure hope the audio can... Uh, Still looking at that squirrel up there. I just showed you. He's still up there. Just chilling, watching me, watching him. Love it. I'm so happy. Uh, but uh, 
One of the reasons that I camp here is because of it's a sandbar. And camping on a sandbar, let me tell you guys, it has its pluses and it really has its minuses. Pluses, you can modify the ground pretty much. I do a lot of it with a uh, paddle, my paddle. In fact, um, that reflector is built with sand and there's some logs in it too up underneath of it but uh you know and i did that with my paddle and that makes it easy the bad thing about sand is it gets everywhere uh, when i go home um, i will spend all day i get home hopefully i'll get home before dark tomorrow i'll definitely get off the water before dark tomorrow I do not get on the water at dark in this canoe with paddles and no lights or trying to do it with a head. No. Um, I don't, I'm not taking the risk. There's a lot of obstructions and things. And uh, I swim very well, and I don't believe that the current's so much that I wouldn't be able to swim to shore or save myself or drown. But I don't want to lose you guys in the camera. Oh my gear. I have a very stable canoe. It's 17 foot long. It's very wide in the center, very flat and wide in the center. And um, I've never turned it over, knocking on a wood stick. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it gets me where. Then uh, it's a double-edged sword too. It's aluminum canoe. It's 17 foot long. It's quite heavy. I'm not really capable of packing it around by myself or doing much portage by myself. The squirrel's coming over this way. He's on this side of the bank now. He's coming over this way. He might live in the hole. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on the shot. Let me see. Let me see. I think I got it. I think I just showed you that hole up there. Uh, but anyway, there's right above me in the tree, there is a hole. It's on the underside of the tree, which I've never known a squirrel really to do. But I guess, I guess it could have been a woodpecker. But boy, it would have been going at it. If it had been a woodpecker, it was, it was wanting it. It's a hole. So yay big around. Oh, another thing about this sandbar, um, again, in Kentucky, northern Kentucky, um, there's a lot of shell coal in the sand. Uh, let me show you. I got something collected up there. See all that right there? Shell coal. And I mean, it's all in the sand here. Um, real easy to... I dig it up, and I'll be honest with you, you know, whenever I get a piece of wood, if I get a big log on the fire that uh, is kind of punky or wet, and I didn't realize it because I was being lazy, <laughs> I'll throw some of that on there with it, too. Um, and right before I go to bed at night, I throw a big old handful of that pile right there is right before I go to bed. Um, and that radiates so much heat. It just, it really does. Um... I'm sure that the fumes are absolutely toxic for you, probably. I don't know. That's one of the reasons I make sure. Let me take you out here. Kind of makes sense. There's my tent. My jacket hanging, blocking most of it. My tarp. The wind is actually blowing this way. And then... There is my fire. So, and there's some steps I cut to make it easier to get up. And again, that's what I'm talking about, the sand being so easy to manipulate to your uses. Um, but when the wind blows, it's either blowing it away from me or blowing it out across the river. Um, and I find that's very important. Um, I don't want the smoke now if it was mosquito season i would be burning some punky woods and stuff and 
uh, maybe getting myself to where if my tent's running this way, my camp's running this way, the wind's blowing this way, sort of like it is now, but kind of a little different. Um, but I always try to make it to where the wind's not blowing the smoke into my into my shelter. Um, if I need to get in the smoke or something like that because of bugs, then you know I'll stand in it for a while. But uh, I don't like to huff smoke all night when I'm sleeping, and I like to sleep with the vent open. I find that small tents like that one um, is they condensate so much. Uh, the tent that I have, it is the Hiker Biker. It's from Bass Pro Shops. The bag to it. I was going to try to see if I could get the bag. But the bag to it is in it. I got my sleeping bag. And I got an air mattress. This is just a regular pool mattress. And I may do a video, a separate video when I get home. I'm breaking all this gear down and all my separate gear. If you want to see that, give me a comment below and let me know that's what you want to see so I know to go ahead and take them the time to do it. Okay? Please. But uh, the tent, again, from Bass Pro has two poles that go one up this way, one up that way. This line, it ties off has one pole that goes right here and one line that ties off. I've tied a separate line just because I'm in sand. Again, anchors don't want to hold in sand, but there's a root that I tied to the top of. That's what the second line's for. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but my dry bag and stuff. But right there, it's a little another line going out, and that is a vent. Then you can zip it up. Um, and I have it zipped up now, but it's a little vent, uh, the front's net, um, that way it helps with the condensation in the summertime and stuff. Uh, didn't have no problem with condensation last night, it was cold, I was in the sleeping bag. And, uh, I'll probably be the same tonight, it's supposed to get down to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, so what would that be, plus one and a half? plus two celsius now nah, i got a conversion thing on my phone do the same thing um but yeah just killing time before i gotta go to bed loving my life on the little sandy this shot here is right before i go to bed well i'll let it die down a little more but really, this is for my dad. I hope all the sound of those spring peepers is coming through the audio. Oh, great. I hear a siren in the distance. About uh, five and a half, six miles away, there's a fire station. So sometimes you get that. Oh, well. It happens. I'll let this die down. I'm going to call it a night. I got a long day of paddling tomorrow. Night, guys. Hey, guys. Remember when I told you I'd show you those birds that were nesting? Let's see if I can. Oh, too far. See the nests? See the birds? There's a whole bunch of them all through these trees. All through the trees. Yeah. Bridgie won't check it out. Uh, see it moving? Right there. Right between them trees. Back up. Oh, there he is. Maybe it'll fluff up. It's turkeys. turkey right up there on that bank I guess I'm getting ready to float through some leaves here make some noise there's also a squirrel over there too I was hoping I'd get better footage of that turkey he's going up that hill 
That's a deer. Is it a white tail? Probably not. So I just saw the squirrel is there. He's on that little limb over there. Let's see if I can get you over to him. Oh, shake it down. Now remember guys, I'm moving that boat here, so I'm trying my best. There. Floating down the water. Been trying to catch these ducks on film, and it's been so sketch. They fly away so quickly. They keep a big lead on me. Beautiful. Okay, so I made it. I'm at the boat ramp. That is Route 2, and there's the river. And I know it doesn't look like a boat ramp. It's covered, 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 covered in mud right now. Actually, it's sandy mud, you know, a little sandy. It's named wrong. It's a lot sandy. No, there's a big sandy river too. There's the boat all empty. There's my gear all out, waiting on Miss AJ. She should be coming from that direction. Although she said that uh, she didn't want to be in the construction. And that's if she comes from that direction. If she comes from that direction, she has avoided the construction, which is what I told her to do, or the way I told her that I would go, but not what I told her to do. That didn't sound right at all. Trust me, I do not tell that woman what to do. <laughs> but uh, that's the way I'll be going home. Guaranteed. I am not sitting in construction. I'm ready to go home. Shower. Shower. But I still have to take care of all that gear. Or most of it. Who's out the boat? Show you the boat. It's going to be all. There's my seat, all full of sand. Ooh, look at the nasty cigarette butts. At least I'm not one of them nasty people that throw them out. The mud there, some more mud there. Lots more mud there. This right here it came with our microwave. Excuse, sorry. Microwave, steamer, combo, yada da, whatever, whatever's. And um, there was two of them in it. It's stainless steel, and I have fire, put this over fire, and then grilled on and fish on it, bacon, meats. It's super light, super strong. There's the golf club I found. And my shovel. Uh, I think this is, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, it's to be a Korean War air shovel, 1952, um, it's wooden handled, has the back spike that comes out on it. This little shovel has done me so good for so many years. No, I can't say for so many years, I had a Vietnam 
error one that was uh, metal handled didn't have the back spike and it had a little spring action you pulled it and it, then you could move the hand, head of the, the spade I guess you'd call it uh, had for many years and uh, I lost it somehow I don't know I think kids lost it or something I always like to blame it on the kids and I got that one from someone who was selling out stuff out of some storage units they bought and uh, I think I gave two or three dollars for it can't complain it wasn't much and uh, I've had it now for about three four years and that's my camp shovel so anyway one more time this is toward the end of the trip or the end of the trip for me just waiting on the wife to pick me up so I can go home shower up and all that good stuff till then guys Peace, love, and prosperity. See ya.